there welcome back to it's only paper i'm lisa and today i'm going to be working in my disney journal i'm going to be using up bits and pieces from my latest kit the march kit i want to grab some of the kit papers actually um it made me realize when i was like looking at the colors that it would be really really handy on an animal kingdom page so i've printed off loads of photos here and I've got bits and pieces from the kit. Don't you think these colours would go really, really well? So that's exactly what we are going to do today. The first thing I am going to do, actually, I had an idea for like a mosaic page. I just think these pages are spot on. So I think I'm going to do like a mosaic. I'm going to, I think... Um, Oh, might start with this actually and do some little like tiles. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that will be really fun. I am thinking I'm going to cut these tiles up into squares. I think that will be really fun and create the page like that. That's what I think I'm going to do. I might actually include that as well yes that's yeah I think that will make a really fun page almost like an old tiled like floor you know like when you're in Animal Kingdom and you everything's sort of quite rustic I think that'll be so cool we'll um Make lots of little tiles like this and then I am going to rough up the little edges like this and piece them together might even do it on here like this yeah I think that's a good plan right. a few days later and I'm coming back to this I really love this page. I am so happy with how this has turned out. Look at that. They just look so cute. I really love that. And I am loving the thought of the doily on there and the photo. The colours just go so well together. I never planned for that photo to go on there. And I'm just really, really chuffed. I'm thinking I'm going to take the little note card from the kit um, note paper I mean let's pop some glue on here and I'm gonna pop this on the on here using the doily and then I was thinking I would like to add some journaling there I don't want it to appear um, I'll tell you what I will do let's cut this off like that that's for my journaling and the idea is that the this can then flip up i quite like that idea i could always do something on there then as well i quite like that idea um but yeah so i can do my journaling on there i quite like that idea oh i think this i left the <laughs> lid off the glue stick for a while again i didn't mean to yeah then that that's perfect for my journaling i am loving that idea and the colors just look so nice together then i've got to decide what to do there because i do have a few other photos that i also wanted to include so i need to have a think i do have the bag from the kit and i do quite like using a bag the colors go quite nice that would actually go quite well then we've got mum. Um, have I got anything? Actually, I could even... Right, that goes like that and that flips up. Yes, that goes really well. Though, I do love that there. And I do really like that one there as well. Or... We have that on there. Hmm. I quite like the idea of, actually, I might go for something like that. 
and then have a card that pulls out with the other photos. Let's do that. We're going to use the paper bag from the kit. I'm loving that idea. I'm loving the idea of including some of this, but not all of it. So we've still got the colours of the bag showing through. I think that will work out really well. I might have to get a different glue stick for this. Oh, I might get away with it. Let's pop that on there. And then we'll trim this down. I've got Marrakesh on there at the moment. To be honest, I could just leave that on there. What kind of animals do they have in Morocco that are different to ours? Because different places where you go, oh, I tell you what I will do. Different places that you go have different wildlife, don't they? So what do they have different over there that we don't have over here? I need to know now, so let me know. If you know, I'm intrigued. Let's pop that there. I like that. I'm loving all the texture. I must tell you this. Um, I made Mother is, Mother, Mother's Day cards recently and I love that distress look. And I layered it and I made the cards look really pretty. And um, my father-in-law then made a comment about the card sort of um, in a negative way, not in a nasty way, as a jokey way, but my comment to him was, that's why people like me don't make cards for people like you, because I, I stopped making him cards years ago because of all the silly comments, and he just just doesn't get it, but he's not, he's quite rude about it in some ways, so um, yeah, I stick up for myself these days, and that's exactly why people like us don't make cards for people like that. Um, I only now make cards for people that appreciate them. I am not going to waste my time or my lovely supplies on people that just don't get it. I would much rather go to Poundland <laughs> and buy them a card from somewhere like that. Because I don't, I don't like spending a lot of money on cards when I've got all the supplies but I also don't like spending time when it's not appreciated so this looks cute doesn't it and I like the idea of a clip on there that's not going to work so well um just having a little think what could I do oh you know what I could do here's an idea let's grab a little paper clip now I'm running out of time because I want to get this video up for today I'm so late let's pop that there and we've decided to go out this afternoon there that's quite sweet isn't it and then oh I need the word strip sticker the word stickers um the kit stickers I mean I haven't used these yet right we've got a yellow one there so um, let's have that on there. Oh, I like this. So that's there. This is really cute, isn't it? I'm so happy. I'd like to pop something up there just to cover that up a little bit. Perfect. I just wanted it to look a little bit prettier rather than the behind of a sticker. Let's pop that on there and we'll cut around that. I love these kind of craft sessions, these journaling sessions where I don't really know what I'm going to do and then you're like, oh, let's do this, oh, let's try that. I like that. And actually, I could even use this. Oh, I might use these ones actually. There. I like that and then I was going to pop something at the top let's have the word adventure and then I want to make a little card to slide in there excellent and I'm going to grab something to make a tab top I'm really loving this 
Um, I've actually got these left over from the little squares. So that would go perfect. And do you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to tie a bow. This is going to look so cute. And again, it's all about the texture and the colours. For me, when I think of Disney's Animal Kingdom, that's what I think of. The music, the sounds, the colours. Um, it's just such a vibrant place. And where did I say I was going to put it on here? All right, we are going to make this so cute. Actually, let's do a back-to-back -back as well. Let's pop it on here. Let's see if I can get away with this glue stick. Um, I, by the way, am going to be organising a Disney crop. If you're not aware of what a crop is, it's when lots of people get together to scrap, scrapbook, journal, create. Um, I used to organise them locally. Um, every other month and it was so nice because it was just loads of us I think it was always women I don't think we've ever had a man all different ages and people would be doing all sorts the majority would be scrapbooking making mini books that kind of thing but every now and then you'd get somebody that like I remember one day a lady just came and upholstered her chair she was a scrapbooker as well but like she had twins and like for her it was just that day of this is my time this is when I can get my things done had people just come and like paint their dresser shelves before bring it all with them in the car and it was just so nice but that's what a crop is you'd have tea and cake and all that kind of thing it's just really really lovely and just so much lovely chat and um yeah so I want to do an online crop for Disney and this all comes from it's such a good idea the lovely Elise saying that um we're gonna do it this way i think she i think she went to one or had organized one or something like that let me know elise i know you watch the videos um but i just thought that was such a lovely idea so obviously we do craftoons and we do two monthly zooms on my patreon um sometimes i do a freebie for everybody um join my free facebook group if you're interested and then you can see when the next one is um but I really fancy doing a Disney one there we go that's cute isn't it and then pop something on the back here um yeah so I fancy doing a Disney one so let me know if you like that idea and um if you would be interested as I think that would be a really fun thing to do. I like this. I feel like I want to pop something on the bottom though to make it just slightly larger. Let's ruffle up the edge here. I just feel like I want it to stick out of the top there just slightly. So bear with me this is going to work i promise you <laughs> let's pop that along here and on the other side as well we're going to make this journaling card just a little bit longer i've got poppy around my feet i'm going to go and let her out in a second let's see if this will work I'm excited I'm really loving making this page we made such the last couple of trips we've made such happy memories in Animal Kingdom and I always say this that with each trip we have a new favorite park people always say what's your favorite park ours really does vary with each trip we go it really does right I do not want to put it all the way in because then it defeats the object of lengthening it so I'm just going to pop it there like that that goes like that and then I trim that down the side like that doesn't matter that that's the same color because we've got that on there let's see yes perfect because I still wanted to be able to see the word adventure 
I wonder if I can make it even more. Let's see if that works. And then I'm going to go and let Poppy out. So let's pop this here just so it's slightly taller. And then it adds actually a little bit of the, the white along here to contrast as well. And then I can add more photos. Yeah, Animal Kingdom. There's just been something about it this trip. It's one of those parks sometimes we can leave it or take it. That was for us this last trip was Hollywood Studios. Just didn't feel the love there this time. Other times it's been our favourite park of the trip. It really, really varies every single time. Right, let's just literally... Oh, that didn't go so well. Right. There we go. Yes, that is spot on. Right, I'm going to let Poppy out. Me, She didn't need to go out at all. <laughs> Um, do you know though, yesterday I, um, she'd been out and then I was sat on my sofa in the studio having a coffee with Aid, and, um, she was around me and a lot of the time she doesn't always bother. She's quite likes to keep herself to herself. And then, um, next thing we know, Aid walked in the lounge and I heard him say, oh no, and she'd peed on the rug. And I just thought, oh, I should have realised she was round my feet. I just didn't dawn on her because she hadn't long gone out. And now I'm just thinking, right, every time she's around me, I need to go and let her out because she's, I mean, she's 15 this week. She's just having a lot more accidents now. But the annoying thing is sometimes it's like 10 or 15 minutes after she's been let out. And it's always, always on my woolen rug, the one rug that can't go in the washing machine. It's like she knows. We put puppy pads out. You name it, we're doing it. And um, yeah, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Ah, oh, these bring back such happy memories. And then I want to do a thing on here. Oh, I'm loving this page. This is just making me so happy. There's a lot to be said for scrapbooking a trip, isn't there? It's like, I always say this, that I feel creatively, when you're a creative person, you get to relive your trip again. And I feel that with doing YouTube as well, to be honest with you. I might grab some washi tape. Um, just having a look at the washi that's in front of me. Kind of want something... I mm, don't know if that's going to stand out enough. Um, yeah, because I get editing the videos, I get to see it all over again and I love it. And it's the same with scrapbooking and journaling. You're getting to relive it all. And I feel so lucky that I can. I feel really lucky to have like almost stumbled across this hobby of ours. Pop that there. Great thing is like this one, look, I've just torn this. Let's pop that on straight and add a sticker over. So here, we're about to go into Bugs Life. So we've got this, it's like a 4D cinema thing and you get the funny bug glasses. And then we went on to Animal Kingdom as well, Animal Kingdom Lodge, I should say. Let's pop that like that. So I'm happy with that, that's cool. I do need some space for some journaling. Um, actually, this here, I've got a little bit of this left, so that will look really cute. I will leave the link to this kit below. It is very, very cool for these types of um, photos. There. And don't, oh, I'm <laughs> showing you up here, you're down here. Don't forget you can pop stickers on, um, on, um, photos as well right so I've got to decide where I'm going to be adding my journaling I haven't left much space for that I am though really happy with this I could even do you know I might even just add a little bit of paper you don't have to do fancy paper all the time do you you just want to 
pop a little bit. Do you know, I'm just going to do this. Pop that under there. And then I can journal on there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm really making the most of this glue stick. And then I can pop this up here. Like that. And I'm going to tear this. There we go, it's going to end up being like that. And then I need one this side as well. So yeah, going back to the Disney crop. So it would just be like a zoom, so completely online. And um, we'll just all do our Disney um, creating together. I just thought it sounded such a nice idea. I'm so grateful, I'm throwing that glue stick away, to Elise for mentioning that, because I just thought, yeah, this would be so nice. And it's just... Nice to then chat with other people about Disney and hear their stories. Um, I feel really excited about it, actually. I think it would be a really fun thing to do. Let's pop happiness down there. Let's use these stickers. See, this makes me think of the Lion King. I like this. Let's pop that up there. This was really fun this day. Um, oh, I'm going to pop this one down here. I'm just going to add a load of stickers. I mustn't forget this one, though, because I've gone a bit crazy with this. And I don't want to forget that as well. I'm happy with this. This is so cute. And then that will go on here. I love having a clip because I can just... Oh, actually, that's not going to work at the moment. But I can. Yeah, there we go. Clip that on the side so I can see what it's going to look like. This page then, let's work on this. That will flip up. I've now got no more photos, but I can journal. Um, I like the idea of adding some bits and pieces to this page that I have got left over. I might actually pop this at the top, almost like turn it into a little bit of a journal card. That's what I think I might do. So make sure, because it's going to flip up like that. Let's tidy up the edge. Like that. Oh, I like the idea of popping that on there. That's a nice little addition for absolutely no reason. <laughs> no purpose to it. Just thought it looks quite cute. I like that. And then I'm just going to place that actually. I want it to stick out just a little bit more. There we go. Like that. And that means that can flip up like that. This is going to look so cute. And I'm feeling like I'd like another little bow on here. I don't know where yet. I love that texture. I'm thinking on here actually. Yay, let's do that. Let's pop that like that. Let's staple that on as well. I'd love to know if you are using your kit. What have you made so far? Um, do join our chat group. There's some really, really cool ideas going on in there. Um, go and have a little look and see how others are using their kits as well. Um, oh, I quite like that. Let's pop that at the top. That's from that little sheet that was in the little treat bag um i'm really happy with how this is working out um, hello sunshine oh this is so sweet delightful there and that will end up being another page i am going to i love these pages so much that flips up then i've got journaling under there I I do need to stick this down. I have put two doilies together just to make it a little bit thicker. I do love using a 
doily on a page. For me as well, with it being Animal Kingdom, it was the the patterns. Um, I just thought it was so, so pretty. I thought it went really, really well with the theming. So that's why I chose the doily. So when you walk around Animal Kingdom, you have and the lodge actually, you have the most beautiful artwork there. No, I'm not gonna add that, I'm gonna leave that as it is. Um, you could cut some bits out, but I'm gonna leave that. And I am going to stick that in, I think. Let's use some washi tape along here and we're going to get some um, double sided sticky tape I mean and then we're going to stick some washi tape in and try and make it secure. I've popped this in here like that but I'm actually going to put some double sided sticky tape on the back of the sick bag and attach the pocket on there that's what I've decided to do. I finished. I am so chuffed with this page. Do you know, it's funny. I was saying in my chat group recently that the this kit wasn't for me. It really wasn't. Um, it's not my colours. I usually go for the bright colours and all that, but I can't design every kit based on what I like. It has to be for other people as well and I've ended up loving this kit so so much all the colors um and I've actually I think this might be one of my favorite pages that I've created for a very very long time I've loved it I really have so let's just show you through that's the like mosaic page there and that flips up with my journaling just talking about how Animal Kingdom um was our favourite park this trip. Um, no fast pace, queues were good, great music, dancing, lots of laughs, good food and we just came away with having made some of the best memories. Um, so I wanted to document that, that's one of my favourite photos of the trip. And then it was just so special having this time with my mum and then I just love the colours as well, it just goes so well. This then pulls out we've got this one here just talking about how we had a morning there with mum and andy on our own i will leave a link to our disney channel below if you want to go and check out those videos and then we're just talking about how um, we'd watch the weather app due to rain so we got on the bus headed over to animal kingdom lodge sorry the resort there and we hung out there and had lunch whilst it rained and um it just worked out perfectly. Then when it stopped raining, we were able to explore Animal Kingdom Lodge. We could go outside to the savannah. It was just so nice. All those videos are on my Disney channel if you want to go and watch the vlogs. That's my page. I'm super happy with that one today. Now, the question is, will I be able to get this edited and up on my channel tonight? We will see. If not, it will be Tuesday. So um, there we go. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I have loved making this page and I will see you in the next video. Bye.